Since you're more of a visual learner, I'm going to use educational props this time. So pay attention. This is me, Lo Wang. Yeah, it doesn't look exactly like me, but you get the idea. So here I am after saving the freaking universe from collapsing. Your egomaniacal sister's dead carcass lies defeated on the ground, and that asshole Zilla is no longer breathing down my neck. Talk about a happy ending, right? I was expecting fireworks and champagne. <sighs> Maybe an invitation to the Hall of Justice. Instead, the gates to the Shadow Realm open and wait for it. A 10,000 year old dragon comes fucking flying out! <laughs> You might be dead, buddy, but you're not forgotten. And I, I will not lose you again. Not to that armless oversight, Jacko! <laughs> Woohoo to me. The last ninja in the world. Best friend to the late god of mischief. <laughs> and the bonehead who brought on the fucking apocalypse. Oh, Hoji, I hate that I'm saying this, but I'm glad you're dead. I'm glad you didn't see it. I had one shot, one fucking shot to make things right, and I blew it. Son of a bitch to kick the bucket! That is one big ass eyeball! Compared to that dragon, I was a gnat, a flyer. A fucking flea. And sure, they can be annoying as hell, but fleas aren't exactly apex assassins. That dragon was destroying everything ancient related and turning it into dragon poop. Cheap powered machines? Dragon poop. Zilla's great floating city? Dragon poop. Your brothers? Yeah, I'm sorry to break this to you, but yeah. Dragon poop. And the big man himself? Yeah, Zilla's probably buried under millions and millions of tons of rubble by now. He tried fighting back. Built rockets, rail guns, particle beam death rays. Used his genius brain and his billions to create a weapon to take that ugly bastard down. Problem was, that lizard was indestructible. It, its scales were impenetrable. That's why the ancients locked that fucker up instead of turning him into sashimi. Bottom line, I think Zilla is long gone. But I still wasn't ready to give up. I tried so many times to take that dragon down. But after a while, I started wondering what the point was. I mean... Why fight if there's no one even left to fight for? That wasn't the plan! That was supposed to win! Although the ancients are gone, their chi still lingers in their artifacts. We can harness the energy from Hoji's mask and use it against the dragon. How many times have we tried to kill each other? 
You weren't my first choice, or my 15th choice. But since everyone else is dead, I'm afraid you'll have to do. Thank you for that ringing endorsement. You may blame yourself for what happened to your friends. You've already lost everything. What else do you have to lose? You can join me in this fraught and possibly futile quest and go out in a blaze of glory. Don't you want to put an end to that giant slimy lizard and get us all a little payback? Ah, <sighs> what do you think, Hoji? Should I trust this old son of a bitch? Ah, fuck it. I'm in, you son of a bitch. What I'm saying is that if it has two legs, technically it's a wyvern, not a dragon. I might be getting facts from comic books, but no one said knowledge can't be fun. You're just too old to get it. The older the tree, the deeper the roots. The older the asshole, the louder the toots. You are stress talking again, Lo Wang. Are you in doubt we can do this? Kill a dragon as big as a mountain with a Halloween mask? Damn right. Personally, I'd rather have a battle cruiser with photon torpedoes. The mask holds great power, and once activated by the spell, it will call out the omnipotence of the gods. From my experience, magical objects never do what's on the label. <laughs> Zilla? Zilla? Is turning into a Lilliputian part of your plan? Wait, where are you? Can you hear me? What the hell? No way. That thing transported me to some kind of sanctuary, I think. What's that noise? Is there a party? Demons! They're trying to break through the gates! I'll track you down. Hurry! Zilla, I'm coming, but I am not happy. I told you not to mess with the magic. That is rule number one, Zilla. Everything bad that happens happens because some moron messes with the magic. I didn't become the most powerful man in the world by following the rules. I make the rules. Yeah, I will bet you don't feel all that powerful now, do you? Huh? Do you? Hiding in some hidey, hidey hole waiting for me to save your sorry ass from a horde of bloodthirsty demons. Just get here, would you please? So how exactly are we going to kill the dragon with Hoji's mask? By weaponizing it, of course. I don't think Hoji would appreciate that. Yes, but he's dead, so he doesn't get a vote. Wang, I know Hoji was your friend, but you need to stop making this so personal. 
For you, his mask is just a memento. For me, it's a battery that holds a boundless quantity of chi energy. To kill the dragon, we need to transfer every bit of its power. So please try to be reasonable. I am being reasonable, Zilla. I just don't trust you when it comes to powerful artifacts. You have a track record of being a dick. my best. Just keep your pants on and stop whining. You have to keep those gates standing, Lo Wei. Why do you even care about this pile of rubble? I don't. I care about what's inside. Someone we need to keep alive. Kotoko. Who? The last living sorceress that can unlock the power of the mask. Become the vessel for the power that can destroy the dragon. So Mo Magic? Oh, that's just great. Sorcerer Supreme does a hocus pocus. It's the only thing left I have of Hoji. So, let me get this straight. With the help of your sorcerer's friend, you want to light some ancient magical fart in Hoji's mask and blast the dragon out of the sky? That's the plan. Yeah, but that doesn't sound very heroic. I was hoping for something cooler. <sighs> like what? Like some mythical, magical... Legendary and girthy sword. We fight the wars with the weapons we have, not the ones we wish we had. Oh, come on. I, I, I just think a sword would be more stylish. you're opening today is a can of whoop ass are dead and the gates are still standing you are welcome you see what happens when someone messes with my best pal's mask poof my bet is motoko tried to teleport us into the sanctuary but since the dragon is draining the world's chi she's starting to lose her powers that's why we need to hurry yeah, let's just hope your sorceress friend doesn't screw the pooch. I don't have friends. And be careful how you talk to her. She has less of a sense of humor than I do. 
Whatever. If she doesn't mess with the mask, I won't break her balls. I'm serious, Lo Wang. Say nothing if you have nothing intelligent to say. That thing you destroyed was over 3,000 years old. It would help countless invasions and attacks. Well, thank you, thank you, but I can't take all the credit. Wang? What's with the hairdo? Is that a snake on your head, or are you just happy to see me? What the hell, Wang? Okay, I'm just being honest, brother. Talk about needing an extreme makeover. Sip it, you idiot! What the fuck? Did she just summon a trash panda? Hey, hey! What? Come back here, you little shit! Wang, stop this tomfoolery. This might be our only hope to defeat the dragon. That furry little ball sack stole my mask. What if it loses it? What if it eats it? You can't trust that rat. That's not just some random animal. That's a tanuki. Motoko's spirit animal. A manifestation of her power. Oh, come on, man. You know what it is. It's your fucking girlfriend's trash panda. She's not my girlfriend. Hey, no judgment here. She's not my type, but hey, whatever tickles your pickle. Hey, give me back my mask, you little shit. Yeah! Are you wondering why I took your mask, Mr. Wag? I am. I'm also wondering who does your hair. I took it because that mask is the only thing that can stave off our inevitable doom. And it was in the hands of a third-rate bargain basement ninja with a smart mouth and the emotional maturity of a third grader. You sound just like my therapist. Is that a joke, Mr. Wang? Because I don't like jokes. You should tell that to your hairstylist. Ha! I said a hip, hop, a hibbit, a hibbit to the hip, hip, hop. You don't stop. You're rocking to the bang, bang, boogie. Now up jumps the boogie to the boogie of the boogie to the bee. Keep your hands off my mat. the dragon. To be a hero, Lo Wang, you need to make sacrifices. Fuck you! I'm not gonna let you kill my friend. Lo Wang, wait! Damn it, Wayne. Hmm? You've doomed 
sweaty hands. It's for wearing! Not now, bro. Was that Zilla? What the hell did they do to me? What did they want? Long story short, the world's about to be obliterated by our old dragon friend. And they thought you could stop it. Better bail. That yeah. thing looks like a G-string trying to hold back last night's curry. Kill Hoji. You already lied to me once. Why should it be any different this time? There. Finding that off button took way too long. I how good you are at this shit. Why'd you stop being an assassin in the first place? I guess I grew a conscience. Oh, how very human of you. Nothing like a conscience to mess up a lucrative career. I fought that dragon and it kicked my ass. I lost my mojo, man. With Zilla, I had a chance for some payback. But instead of saving the world, you saved my behind. Yeah, that was kind of a spur of the moment thing. The bottom line, I guess I'd rather die with my friends than live in a world full of douchebags. That's the nicest thing anyone ever said to me. But I think I might have a Everybody has one now, man. It's almost like Mandatory. Love it, your brother. Gotta keep up with competition. I get it. Uh. Oh, that looks sharp. No shit. Humans are so stupidly fragile. One little poke and all your insides are now on the outside. <laughs> Not really. No. You humans have no. Yeah, well, those yokai aren't exactly helping. Oh, 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 you magnificent bastard! It's not gonna hold. Well-developed fight-and-flight response. Oh, I do 
you have more fight than fighting. you ever wondered where all these yokai are coming from? Not really. I've been too busy killing them. That dragon is transporting them from their realm to ours by laying That is fucked up. No, we can use it to our advantage. Listen, the yokais come in different shapes and sizes, which means the eggs are an incubator capable of hatching whatever is necessary. I defeated that ugly bastard once. I can do it again. I just need to get my immortal soul into one of those demon eggs. What we're looking for is a big-ass yokai nest. Since the dragon delivered those eggs, we need a spot that's accessible from the air. The Dragon Mountain, the highest peak around. If we can reach the top of the dam, we'll be able to see how to get there. Wow. Would you look at that view? Nice. So, what was it like being dead? Jeez, where to start? Basically, I found myself floating in a deep void of nothingness. A dark, old, empty, endless, empty oblivion. Sounds kind of boring. Boring? I tried to open up a little bit and you... You are such a dick. Ah! And that's how it's done, baby! New catchphrase. <laughs> Still trying to pull off that superhero thing. Don't you think the market's a little bit oversaturated right now? Shut up, Hoji. People need to learn the value of camaraderie and doing the right thing. Who wants some? Or you could just pull. Who wants some way? Do you want me to open them? Hey, Hoji, this is how I open doors. Why do you care how I open doors? Could we just go? I'm tired of watching you work that door like you're trying to give it a kick in the ass. After you, fuckface. You are a dick. I still don't get it, Hoji. I thought you were dead. I even built a small memorial with pictures and flowers and action figures and shit. I already told you. The dragon is the source of my godly power. As long as it lives, it serves as an anchor for my soul. We are connected. All I needed was a way back, and when Matoko jiggled my junk... That's all it took? Magic, baby! Fucking magic. Ha! Hey, hey, over here, you idiot! Oh. Hey! Don't encourage them! It's my ass on the line! Zilla suffer really makes me smile. Trust me when I say there's no love lost between me and that old plot. But things are different. Sympathy for the devil? What happened to my old friend, Long I don't know. I guess he decided he didn't have to be a dick all the time. that road until we reach the nest. So what's our plan? I just told you the freaking Wait. plan. 
What was that? Maybe you were struck by a ray of my awesomeness. <laughs> Listen, those yokais aren't the sharpest tools in the shed, but they are ferocious. Relax, Hoji. I'm telling you, it'll be like stealing candy from a baby. I don't think you're listening. Ferocious, with huge, razor-sharp claws. Of course, stealing from a baby is wrong. And two wrongs don't make a right. But three rights always make a left. Right? Huge claws! Forget it. Hey, if the dragon lays eggs, doesn't it mean it kind of needs a, you know, sperm donor? Or am I overthinking it? Yeah, you're overthinking it. Hey, Oji. So how exactly is this whole egg thing gonna work? I'm gonna insert my chi energy inside that demon fetus. And after you hatch, will you look like you? Oh, you're asking if I'm gonna be as ugly as I used to be. Well, not exactly. We're friends, so I'm obviously trying to sugarcoat it. Well, first of all, fuck you. Secondly, yeah, I'll look like me. Though I'm hoping for a taller, tighter, more ripped version of me. Big guns, broad shoulders, a six-pack. So, not like you at all. <laughs> I'm laughing. Oh, gee, if your little scheme backfires, do you even have a plan B? This plan is bulletproof. It's worked before, and it'll work again. Trust me. I just hope you know what you're doing, pal. I don't have hopes or regrets. Those petty emotions are reserved for mortals. What? Gods don't regret anything they've done? How do you learn from your mistakes, then? I don't make mistakes. I make decisions and shit happens. That's what gods do. Yeah. Shh. Gotta be extra careful here. Ninja style. into a farm? That is not how it works. about this. Why the negative attitude, huh? He has a post-mortem wiggle. I would clap if I had hands. I don't know, Hoji. Some chickens still run around after you cut their heads off.
That is so fucked up. Oh, great. We need this egg. thousandth time, yes. I checked it three times already. <laughs> that giant cock slapped us around pretty good. The second biggest I've ever seen. I didn't know you bred roosters. Weird. Anyway, we can't wait weeks till this egg hatches. Let's ride the river to the hot springs and speed things up a bit. Can you promise me no more waterfalls? Do I look like a waterfalls of the world Wikipedia page? I can't promise you that. This is wild country, boy. Now, start paddling. About that hot spring, is there some kind of ancient magic shit going on there? No magic, Pookie. Just an old-fashioned hatchery. Science says that's where life originated. In a warm, smelly, primordial pond. So, no shitty rituals, dancing in circles, or stupid-ass crystals? I leave that kinky crap to witches, like our dear sister Matoka. Instead, get ready for a super awesome spa experience with mind-blowing fireworks and dragon sashimi. So basically, it's like a trip to Vegas. at me. Precious cargo on board. This isn't the right way, Hoji. No, 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 no! Grab the egg! That egg better be in one piece, Wang. Well, you know, all this constant negativity is not helping. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's hard to be positive when your consciousness is trapped in a piece of baby wood strapped way too close to some annoying ninja's junk. Just keep an eye on that stupid ass egg. Ha. You stupid idiot! Without that egg, we're never gonna defeat the dragon! How is any of this my fault? And how can I be stupid and an idiot? You stupid idiot! Ah! I see it, Wang. It's in the water! Come on! We need to hurry and catch it on the other side! This one looks cozy. Put the egg in there. Time and temperature will do the rest.
It worked! You crazy bastard! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay, heads are not supposed to do that! I'm stretching! So, how do you feel? Amazing! Like a god! Yeah, no, not that I don't appreciate what you did, but... No naked hugging. I'm glad you're here, buddy. Are we there yet? For the thousandth time, almost! I'm just saying you're building my anticipation to a level impossible to... Whoa. Got the BFG now. This is just damn. I whoa. And uh, what 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 is this exactly? It's a a, a, a G cannon. So we can blast that filthy reptile out of the sky. You're in for quite a ride, brother. Just follow my lead. All right, Pookie. Dragon Destruction 101. First lesson, the dragon is drawn to magic. Turn on the machinery and he'll appear, drawn like a moth to a flame. Follow those pipes, or as us pros like to say, siphons. Turn them on. Once activated, the siphons release a ray of unfiltered chi. A spectacular source of power and light. You got all that? Anyone who's played a video game in the last 10 years gets it. Koji, to be honest, and I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but operating this glitchy equipment seriously sucks ass. Maybe for humans and their itty-bitty lizard brains, you obviously don't appreciate the scale of this endeavor. It's not about appreciation, Hoji. I'm more of a shoot-first, ask-questions-later kind of guy. I'm not into... puzzles. And I can't quite believe you're into this crap either. You just like how those rays shine. They are very sparkly. So what's the deal with you and that dragon, anyway? What did it ever do to you? It leveled mountains, swallowed oceans, and wreaked bloody havoc on the Shadowlands. It is chaos incarnate, and if the world was gonna survive, we had to capture it. Why just capture it? Why not just blast it to smithereens? Because dragons contain incredible energy. It's like a giant magical banner. We captured it and used it to power us. That's how we brought balance to the Shadowlands. So, what happened after you brought that balance to the Shadowlands? My brothers screwed me. They split the dragon's power unevenly. Never listened to what I wanted or what I needed. They were always my enemies. For them, it was always about power, always about competition, and gods... Gods are very competitive, very narcissistic beings. So that's how they built the world. Of course, I sent them my suggestions, which they totally ignored. As they wanted total control, they created a world without freedom, a world that only served them. No wonder it all blew up in their stupid faces. Dragon is heading 
in your direction. Do not underestimate the power of that beast. It has already devoured all of Oji's siblings. Oh no, it's a ginormous dragon. It's gonna eat you up like your idiot brothers. Guess what? They haven't got my awesome G cannon. Hang up on him, Lil Wang. Where the fuck are you? are you? And why'd you run? Ouch! That hurt. Gotta be careful. This jungle won't take prisoners. Looks like a good vantage point. Yeah, I should be able to see everything from up there. Yeah. Where the hell are you, Hoji? into town. Wang! Wang! Wang, do you see it? With my own eyes, Zilla. I tried to warn you, Lo Wang. Hoji can't be trusted. I know, I know, Zilla. And I'm sorry, okay? But it's not the best time for an I told you so. 
I can't find Hoji. I bugged the mask. The transmitter positions Hoji round that central tree in the forest. Old habits die hard, huh? I'm endeavoring to be a better person, not an idiot. Let's meet there. And Wang, leave the talking to us. So your friend screwed up again, Lo Wang. You were going to turn his life force into a fucking weapon. I'm sorry if I wasn't good with that, but you were being a dick. He's a demonic god, Lo Wang. You can't trust someone like that. Given half a chance to take that power and put himself at the top of a new pantheon. And so he did. Reverse the power on his so-called chi account. He was trying to recapture it, Lo Wang. With that power to himself. What did learn? I just... Ah! I don't even know who I should trust. I can't trust you. Maybe my motivations weren't always pure. But I still wanted to save the world. Then get with the program and help me find Hoji. Just keep a steady pace and I'll let you know when it works. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I hate that mother freezing ice in this mother freezing forest. Ugh. Him, he's gonna be sorry he ever lied to me. like that. It makes me so angry and I hate being angry. For one thing, it makes my hair fall out and I just fucking grew it back. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find me? Well, you know, villainy and trickery. Zilla bugged the mask. So, what the fuck was that about? The dragon is the source of my power and immortality. That is how my siblings and I became gods. That's also why we didn't kill it, but imprisoned it between dimensions. And your plan was to catch it and drain its power? Kickstart a new world where you would be the only god? Why not? That's exactly what Zilla and Matoko warned me about. Screw them? What about me? Screw! Damn it, Wang! Haven't I sacrificed enough? Don't I deserve something nice for once? Yeah, but not the whole goddamn planet. God, I feel like such a fool for rescuing you. I bet everything on you. Oh yeah, like you're not a complete egomaniac. Pretending to be some kind of hero when all you ever do is make things worse. So this is the thanks I get for trying to save your stupid ass? Excuse me? I'm only here because of you. You're my last friend. My only friend. And if you can't save the people you care about, 
What's the point of saving anything? You are such a song. Run! Hi! Oji! Gone. Without Hoji's power, the dragon is unstoppable. This is not how I expected it would go. No shit, Giza. If you two hadn't lied to me from the start. Do you three ever shut up? Well, look what the cat dragged in. Oh yeah, like she didn't just try to use the chi in my mask to make herself all powerful. And you, you're no saint either, Grandpa. What's that smell? Oh, yeah, it's the scary lady's magic love potion on your pants. Wait, what? Uh, are you, like, in love, Zilla? <gasps> Sip it, you idiot. Because of this idiot, I now know we'll never succeed if we don't work together. No more lies. No more hanky-panky. Matoko, I want you to extract all my power and put it back into the mask, turning it into a thaumaturgic bomb. We will then deliver it into the mouth of the dragon. And who exactly will make this delivery? Matoko's raccoon is her familiar and will amplify the bomb's destructive power. Panda on her path, Bo Wang. Deliver her into the dragon's gaping maw. Once that's done, I'll become mortal. Completely vulnerable. Anything could kill me. A rabbit squirrel, a bad clam, or a massive clown. fucking dragon! I'll keep an eye on you. What? I'm stronger than I look. He is. Keep us posted. And Lo Wang, don't fuck this up. Okay, you little runt. You might be the cutest little bomb ever, but you need to move your tail. The fate of the world is in your creepy little hands, so be a good raccoon. Make like Bruce Lee, enter the dragon, and blow your adorable ass up! <laughs> Just like you. Adorable, naive, bendy. But then that scaly son of a bitch stole my mojo. And a ninja without his mojo is about as useful as a concrete parachute. <laughs> Look, I need that dragon gone and my mojo back. And I'm sorry you have to make the ultimate sacrifice for that, but you smell like rock. Have you been dumpster diving again? How is 
to my furry friend. Huh? You okay, pal? <laughs> hey, trash pants. Since I'm pretty fast and you're pretty furry, maybe we should call ourselves the Fast and the Furious. Get it? Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. You're right. But come on. That fucking series is so horrible, I could actually see it happen. Fuck. Ah, it was just like Die Hard. Uh, is that a body part you need? Oh, Wang, the dragon's moving. Hey, since we're on the same team again, maybe you should try cheering me on now. Wang, Wang, can't be beat. He's the one who brings the heat. Hit him, hit him, pop their head. Blow him up and shoot him dead. Yay, Wang. You know what? Forget it. Behind you, pal. Every step of the way. Except for, you know, that last one. You're gonna be a legend, buddy. They might even turn you into an action figure. All right, you fuzzy little creep. It's showtime! The dragon's still alive. It swallowed the mask, and it's more pissed off than ever. That's it, brother. We are done. Game over, man. Game over. We can't stop him without the mask. That lady sung yet? I don't think so. He can still do this. Someone has to jump into that monster's maw and recover the mask. Do you know anyone stupid enough to do that? Me. And don't try to talk me out of it. What do you think of it? Have fun! Hey, don't die! Maybe not worse than that. Or this. Or that. Ha! A ninja wing, a ninja. A hero. A warrior with a killer six pack and an ass you can bounce corners off. Ha! Hey, 
but not to be a buzzkill, but according to Zilla's calculations, the dragon will freeze the balls off of everything that has balls in the next 27 hours. Thanks for the pep talk. I'm scared, Low Wang. Really scared. Yeah, okay, okay, look. Let me teach you something about humanity. Lesson one, hope. You don't ever want to lose it. Even if all is lost? All is never lost. Because there's always hope. Until there isn't. Lesson two, don't be an asshole. Ha. I'm gonna get you this time, you second-rate what to fake the common dragon. Baby, you want to keep, OG. places and see how anxious your ass is, you little fart. I know you're facing imminent death, but that's no reason to be rude. Ah. Okay, guys. I'm gonna do something really stupid, but I want you to remember it as something really great. Got that? You're gonna be fine, Pookie. I believe in you. You bring your mojo home. Oh, body. 
You gave it your best, and totally blew it. But that's okay. I'm here now. Time to get my mojo back. Gotta find the heart of this beast and blow it to high heaven. And fast, too, before I end up as Dragon Dookie. Woo! Must be the heart. Look at the size of that sucker. And I didn't think this asshole had one. Time to break it. Oh. Ah. You don't like bleeding to death? You can always file a formal complaint. And someone will get in touch with you in the next 40 years. Closing in on the dragon's butthole? I sure the hell hope not! Imagine the amount of food this thing needs! No wonder it's flying around eating everything in its path! If it's blood sugar drops, it probably gets super cranky. <laughs> hey! But if Hoji's disaster cannon still works, maybe I can use it to destroy that freakishly big heart! I hope Hoji's giant laser still works. After all, it's Sloshing around inside here for quite a while now, it's probably half digested. Sashimi time!
is what happens when you mess with the warrior. Are you the dragon's gallbladder? Cause you're pissing me off. the ugliest thing I've killed today. Come on, Doc Ox. Let's see what you got. A little gift for my best mortal friend. Look around. We did it. Together. As a team, we saved the world and humanity. Not too shabby for a former god, a retired ninja, a trash panda, an old witch, and a broke-ass ex-billionaire, huh? What? That team part. Truth be told, you weren't exactly a team player. We talked about this. Hey, I had to improvise. Otherwise, Poji wouldn't still be alive. And if you hadn't set that dragon free in the first place, it wouldn't have destroyed half the planet. It's uninhabitable now. Oh, for fuck's sake, Zilla. Can't you just not be such a giant asshole for once in your life? Watch your mouth, assassin, or I'll turn you into a turnip. Hey, hey, hey! What was the deal, huh? No more, no more lies, lies, no more hanky no more yeah, hanky, yeah. hanky Look, I'm just saying, I was the one who was saving the entire goddamn universe, while Zilla... You want a timeout, pal? Zip it! Eat your sushi and smile like it's a family dinner. With a family that actually likes each other. 